All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to open up our next item. Uh, we got a booster box of Core 21. Uh, after this video, following it, I will have a Core Set 21 collector boosters. Uh, first, I want to give a shout out to Chromatic Dragon Games um, for, for supporting this video, uh, supplying me with the products that I get to uh, show you guys today. Um, Specifically, as I said, uh, they have been huge in getting me product uh, when product has been a little bit harder to get. So I'm really excited to open up, uh, continue to open up videos for you guys. Uh, make sure you like and share this uh, so I can continue to do more. Uh, or even give me some feedback on what I can work on. But I uh, definitely want to, once again, give a shout out to them. Uh, if you want to reach out to them, you can get them at chromaticdragongames.com. Also, you can reach out to them through Facebook. So if you uh, put in their name, Chromatic Dragon Games, I'll uh, pop right up. Uh, they have some cool promos going on right now uh, for the 4th of July weekend. So uh, make sure you guys get a hold of them and see what you guys can get from them. Um, so let's go ahead and get this opened and uh, we'll have some fun, all right? So hold on one second, guys. This will be a little bit longer for video. I will try to keep it relatively short for um, all the packs. I will only specifically look for promos. All the altered arts as well as the rares. So let's hold on. Let's get this opened up. All right. Whoa. Thirty-six packs of amazingness. Ooh. Twelve. Twenty-four. And 36. All right. Let's get that off to the side. All right. Let's get going. Try to, uh, I know this is a new set, so I know you guys, uh, not everyone has seen all the cards yet, but, um, if I see something, hopefully you will get some, uh, big pulls. Some, as some like to say, the spicy pulls. Um, so starting off with token land and double vision as our first rare. All right, and then we will see if we got any alternative art. Nope. All right, we'll put that off to the side. So, how are you guys enjoying uh, everything? I know it's been tough. Uh, we still have a lot of game stores up in my area that haven't opened up yet. Um, you know, it's it's been tough, tough for a lot of people. So, I'm hoping that soon enough we will get back to opening and supporting our local game stores because uh, they're the ones that keep us being able to enjoy it. Uh, there's our next rare. Hopefully we get some uh, get some spicy. Last stuff I opened uh, wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything super crazy, super big. Um, Corset 21 has had, that, has had that effect. I feel like either you get some really good stuff um, or you get not so much. Um, but one of the things I do like is that it definitely is, they def did a good job with the overall arts in the set. Ooh, well, uh, that's a thing. So that's our first uh, nice card that we got there. We got that scavenger news, followed by, oh, well, <laughs> heroic invention. I guess if you're going to get two uh, cards, like, that's not bad for green, huh? Uh, anything else that speaks to me? Do, 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 all right, next pack. That's not bad, the ooze. That's one card, man. Uh, that's a real good reprint. I think that will put a, a lot of these cauldron decks um, out of standard for good. Um, they are, I mean, they'll, they'll obviously prevalent, but the scavenger news is really gonna hurt them. Animal Sanctuary. Obviously they can still respond, but you know, it just is less of it, and then, we got Chandra's Hireling. And nothing else. Alright, next pack. I'll keep those aside so we can take a look at how many we got after. These packs are super loose. Um, it's interesting. They're a little tough to open, but which is weird because they're loose but tough at the same time. Kind of weird. Uh, and we got ourselves a pack leader. But, but, da, 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 da. All right, nothing else. Next pack. You guys, uh, 
looking to get. I know, like myself, I really want to get a Teferi, um, especially the altered art foil. Man, there's something about that art that's just so nice. Oh, forced. Um, always a fan, always a fan. And then Primal Might. Okay, let's take a look at that. All right. Do, 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 do. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. There we go, another altar. Weird, it has no text. We couldn't even put flavor text. Very strange. That's one of the things I don't like. Um, also, the cards, you can hear that. They snap real nice. Um, I'll have to give them give them stock on that. They did a good job with that. Uh, they picked a good stuff for that. For the card stock in this set. Also, why don't you see a foil too? Like the foils are real nice. I they did a they took time in this set for sure. Ooh, there's our first mythic. All right, fiery emancipation. This card. Oh, I watched a guy draft uh, two of them. Oh, miscast, and uh, it was whew, it was brutal. If he obviously it's six mana, it's a little tough. But if you're running, he's running like a green red ramp deck that had big spells. Man, it did not take much for that stuff to just beat you down. If you didn't expect it or didn't have the counter spell or removal for it, yeah, you weren't uh, you weren't surviving too much longer. That's for sure. All right. Oh, and then we got ourselves a mountain. Man, that mountain. Hmm. Uh, foil planes. All right. And Vito. And anything else? Nope. All right. To the next pack. Oh, the foil there. So there's yep. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can uh, still get that Teferi. I know, for foils anyways, because I know typically you can get one, sometimes two rares. So hopefully we uh, get a chance at it to two. All right. And we have a Temple of Epiphany. All right. Uh, da, 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 anything else good? Nope. All right. To the next. So as I said before, I'm kind of disappointed in the temples. I know why they're. I know why they did it. Um, it's a good, it's a good solid land. It's, it scries one. It's good for beginners. Uh, it doesn't pain land. It doesn't hit them for pain, which is I think the big thing that they were trying to get away from with core sets. They don't want people getting pinged for things because they're playing them. It just makes for a bad time for the magic community. Ooh. Well, um, so that's a thing. So. As hoped, and maybe not foil, but it is a Teferi Master of Time. Boy, man, is he is so good. Uh, so that's a, a ring right there for a big boy. Uh, anything else in that pack? Oh, mm, man. Always good to see Teferi. He's, uh, he's what they like call the good boy. Yeah. Makes a lot of people's lives miserable, but man, does he do, do some work, right? Um, we have a Containment Priest. That pack. Uh, anything else? Ooh. Mm. Bastry's Acolyte is our altered art. Man, that's a nice foil. So gorgeous, weird. Ooh, ho, ho. yikes! Ah, yeah, uh, Azusa. Great reprint. Great reprint. I am so glad they reprinted that card. Um, Eliminate. Good uncommon. Uh, that's fun. Experimental overload, and that's it. Uh, yeah, like some man, some of the some of the things they print in this set, Zuza, um, Containment Priest is cool, Scavenging Ooze is really good, 
Uh, Massacre Worm, like the reprints in the set are fun um, and great cards too. And then we got, we have a Niambi. What do you think the uh, value on some of this is going to be? Especially where, like, you can't... Corsets have always been one of those things, like, the cards tank really bad. But at the same time, like, how much are we opening? You know, I, I feel like not a lot of people are opening a lot. I know the economy is good for, for like, people wanting to buy, but game stores are just not open. Um, which always worries me for, like what prices do and like where they go and like that's why it's so hard sometimes to like want to price things when we're doing videos because like man it's gonna it's gonna keep going down uh we got a calvaric the spiteful i seem like i that, that's one of the ones that uh i have opened up in every one of my pre-releases Ooh, tourist project um so like it's interesting that and containment priest I, uh, I've seen a lot of videos, uh, I've seen a lot of packs where pe like people uh, have opened that a lot. <laughs> and then we have a Temple of Silence. Alright, now do it for that pack. On to the next. Construct. Oh, speaking. Oh, man. Uh, there's our second mythic. Elder Gargroth. Uh, this guy is such a bomb. Vigilance, Reach, Trample. Whenever it attacks or blocks, you get to choose either get a 3 3, gain 3 life, draw a card. Like, what? What were they thinking? Let's just keep giving green so much good stuff. Man, every time they make a green mythic, like it just seems so broken. And yet, <laughs> I mean, I complain because I, why does blue get bad mythics? But I mean, this time I did get to fairy, um, so like I can't really complain that much. But like, man, it just seems like the green mythics are just so much value. All right, oh, another foil. All star in limited, roaming. Gaslight. Ghostlight, my bad. Another re reprint. Ruined Halo. That's an interesting reprint. I don't know what exactly their thought process on why they specifically picked that white bear um, to reprint. It's fine. Uh, it seemed confusing. Like, I didn't, I didn't need it, and I don't know why you would play it. But maybe, maybe, I mean, we don't know what the next set's got, so it could be something that's really important. Oh, another foil. Glooming Asawa. And, hey, that's a nice Fabled Passage. Another reprint. Very recent reprint. Uh, that'll probably tank the price quite a bit, but it's a good card, nonetheless. So some of the mythics I want to see still. Um, I mean, love to get a Ugin. Um, maybe an Altered Art Ugin. Because we still haven't seen any Altered Art rares yet. So that still can be a thing. Um, and like my pre-release kit, I got another Rada. Garuk's core horn. That's not bad. And uh, huh. uh, not so good, but Thief's Guild Enforcer. 
All right. Almost through pack, uh, sack two. And about, looks like, about 15 after this. Try to get quicker, more quickly done. Uh, we have a Zabria. And another Garus Gohan. Also, once again, just want to give a nice shout out to uh, Chromatic Dragon Games. Thank you again for uh, supporting me and my endeavor to uh, bring us uh, some magic opening. Uh, I do enjoy it, and I hope you guys do as well, because um, it is fun. Um, I, I can't speak to it enough. With everything that goes on in this world, uh, one of the things that feels like we can do is we can play magic, and everything else just goes away. Uh, opening packs, like I mean, you watch this. You're watching this video right now. You're you're watching it for the magic. You're not watching it to know what my personal uh, preferences are, or anything like that. Um, for oh yeah, look at that cultivate. Mm -hmm. um, for political or anything like that, we just do it because we enjoy watching watching people open magic. So thank you guys again uh, for supporting this channel. And please, please, please like, share everything that you see, because it's the only way I get to keep opening stuff. Um, and people like you guys. All right, we have ourselves a uh, series lieutenant. All right, that's it for that. All right, stack, last stack, guys. We are at 17 minutes of this video, so not doing too shabby for opening up for this booster box in a while. Um, keep on. Ooh, man. <sighs> Always love the way that. I love the way that island came out. I'm so glad it did like this. Man, it looks nice. And there is our rare altered art a Chandra's Emissionator. Unfortunate, but it's still rare nonetheless. Um, so that will rule out getting any other altered arts. Um, well, I mean, there's, I guess we can't say it's, there's no chance, but pretty slim chance, you know what I'm saying? Um, to get anything else. Oh, well, we got ourselves a sanctum of all. Gotta get that shrine. Oh, well, um, so I lied. We got an extended art, and it is a scavenging ooze. Not bad. Love, always love a scavenging ooze. It gives us a foil and a non foil. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's it. Mm. God, man, that scavenging ooze. Man, that is such a sweet art. I really. One of the things I definitely gotta say is make sure you guys. When you're spending the time opening packs, definitely take a look at the art. They did such a good job with art in this set, and it really just definitely shows um, with all the altered arts and stuff like that. And Pursuit Whale. Uh, da, 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 da. That's it for that. All right. Hmm. I also wonder if maybe that's why there's a little more air in these packs than I was expecting, because. That was two rare packs, so it wasn't a foil. Maybe they were maybe they were afraid that they needed to add the extra air in it so that they could do the stuff. I don't know. Uh, we got ourselves a spore web weaver. As our next rare. Anything else good in this pack? Nope. Alright. We're almost there guys. Hang on there. Hang on. Uh, make sure you're, you reach out to your local game stores, check in with them, make sure, that, uh, find out when they're opening, when they plan on no, uh, plan on doing it as well. Uh, we got ourselves in Altered Art Plains. Ooh, we have ourselves a sad robot. Solemn City Macrum. I've heard people call it uh, the Altered Art. Ooh, 
and we have a magma at the end. Um, I've heard a lot of people call the, not this art, but the Altered Art one, um, Terminators. Um, they kind of look like T-21 ones. If you guys have not had a chance, check out, take a look at them. They definitely look like Terminators. Uh, pretty creepy. But, alright. Got Aerosols. Yeah. Oh. Volcanic Salvo. It's a very light mythic box, huh? Man. I've seen boxes where you get, I get like five, six mythics. This is uh, definitely extremely light. Unfortunately, this is sometimes, sometimes is my look, as I like to say. Um, yeah. Peer into the abyss. We joke uh, in my group. This is why we don't allow certain people to pick boxes because when they do, it they, they always seems to uh, be a little lackluster. This is why I should pick the boxes. But uh, nonetheless, let's keep going. Uh, man, they did it. I'm telling you, the foiling in this set is so nice. Mm. And regular frame, Chandra's Ignitiator. Four packs left. Hmm. Sublime Epiphany. This is the one you get to have. Choose modes. Not bad. Um, definitely, definitely an EDH. Uh, definitely an EDH card. There is many times where. I, th I think about how uh, you can be able to counter, target an ability, like, maybe you won't use both of those abilities, but, like, returning target on a permanent and creating a token of something, um, and drawing a card is always good, so. Ugh. Uh, Spark Hunter, Mastercore. The Anti-Planeswalker card. Basari, Solidarity. Is something good? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Transmorify. And then Eliana Steward. Steward? Hello, Steward. Alright. Last pack. Be a mythic. Be a mythic. No, it's a mythic, but another rare. And it is a ooh, foil Sopria. The glorious anthem. Wow. Um, yeah. Told you, man. Sometimes, sometimes this happens to me. Where we open a box and. We don't open a lot of mythics. And we rip through this real quick. One, two, three, three mythics. Well, I mean, they're not bad. I got myself a Teferi and a Gargoth and a Fiery Emancipation. All right, guys, thank you. Uh, next video coming up will be our Corset 21 video. For Collector's Boosters, thank you again, and make sure you reach out to Chromatic Dragon Games, and uh, they'll take care of your magic needs and all other gaming. Thank you, guys.